Who doesn't love a good alliteration? Welcome back, friends. Happy Monday. Um, right off the bat, so I put a blog post up last week. Uh, if you haven't read it, uh, check it out. It's right, it's on the front page of the my website. There's a couple of good ideas in there, or maybe the beginning uh, of an idea. I don't know. Um, but one of the things I wrote about was... There's a guy, uh, I'm assuming he's still alive, Graham Sisson in uh, New Zealand, and he built uh, multi-sport racing kayaks. Um, and I purchased one way back when. And he, you know, would write on his blog occasionally. Uh, he was a one-man operation, so he handled all the customer emails and phone calls, and he built the boats, and he shipped them out. It sounds a little familiar, but one of the things he wrote about was the fact that, you know, anytime you're in a business, any business, there are bound to be challenges, and certainly challenges when, I mean, it's just you. But the thing that made it all worthwhile was the fact that he got to deal with so many nice people. And that resonated with me. And in the month of August, I had the very good fortune to meet a handful of really nice people. Um, one of which, obviously, you saw the end result of last week with that polyvalent low kicker. So that's just uh, a little thought that's been running around my head. Um, that regardless of the challenges, and when you talk about picking up a business and moving at 1,100 miles, there are bound to be some, and there will continue to be some. But really, the people I get to deal with, you know, not only here in the store, but over email, and obviously the conversations that we have here, they really do make it worthwhile. So, thanks for that. I have been a proponent of friction shifting for a very long time. Um, in the last, God, it's got to be close to 12 or 15 years now, the only index shifter that I've used was the click shifter that came with the box three group that I put on my bridge club, and I didn't even use that right away. Um, or maybe I did use it right away, and then somewhere I heard that the clutch on those box rear derailers were so strong that you couldn't use a friction shifter, which I promptly uh, put that rumor to bed. Um, and then I think I put the index shifter, it was more for expediency. I think I needed the shifter that was on that bike for another bike. I don't know. My point is, is that I've ridden and promoted friction shifting for a very long time, but what I'm here to tell you is that it is not for everyone. Or at the very least, it's not for everyone right away. Um, that polyvalent being a case in point. It would have been very easy for me to nudge her in the direction of friction shifting. The Rivendell that her husband is riding has a friction shifting set up. It would have been very easy for me to do that. But when someone is starting out, you want to try to make the whole process of riding the bike as easy as possible. And I think in this situation, using the index shifter that comes with that Advent X setup was the easiest way and best way to go. I say this because I've made that mistake in the past, and it, I've made it with people that were close to me, um, where I was so bought in that I couldn't see 
that using a an index shifter might have been uh, an easier way to go and made for a more enjoyable experience. These are just thoughts of mine and that hopefully if you're ever in the position to you know help someone set up a bike, help someone build a bike that even though you can see where they may be down the road so to speak that you've got to you know, you got to walk before you can run. Uh, when I watched the customer ride that polyvalent, I could see where she may end up position-wise, uh, you know, a, a year or two years from now, or maybe six months from now, depending on how much she rides the bike. But you don't start them there. Um, yeah, just follow-up thoughts on the last couple of weeks. I've sold wide foot leader cages for a very long time uh, and they've been out of stock for seemingly forever. Uh, I think it's a materials shortage uh, which you know a lot of manufacturers are going through. I've also sold the Bella Orange Mojave cage which you know essentially does the same thing. It's It'll hold a you know, a Nalgene bottle. I sold the wide foot cages, you know, like a house of fire. Haven't really sold the Mojave cages. And I started to wonder why. And I thought, well, maybe it's a styling thing. The wide foot cage looks like a traditional bottle cage. And the the Vela Orange cage kind of has that oldie time, you know, French look to it. I guess Nito makes cages like that too, so I don't really know that it's a French look, but you know what I mean. And then I thought, well, maybe there's, maybe the wide foot cage just holds a full Nalgene bottle more securely. I mean, that's thought certainly has popped into my head. So I did a very scientific test uh, with a very pink fork. <laughs> um, you know, on the bike, I've got a Mojave cage on my, on my uh, Trocosaurus, and there's no issue even on a bumpy road. It's sitting down there on the seat tube. It, you know, that's not going anywhere unless the bike ends up upside down, in which case, you know, you're going to be missing a lot more than just a water bottle. So I'm thinking, well, maybe if it's on a three-pack mount on the fork, you know, there's a lot of jostling that goes on there, and maybe that's, maybe that would be an issue. So I mounted a Mojave cage on a very pink fork and then proceeded to shake it rather violently. And, you know, the bottle stayed just fine. In fact, I had to loosen up the, you know, the bottle went in very tightly uh, initially, and I had to kind of loosen it up, and then it was a little too loose, and then I tightened it back up again, and I mean, it holds just fine. You know, I don't know. These are, again, sometimes I have a dozen different thoughts going through my head, and it's, you know, how do you take all those thoughts and, and turn them into a coherent video? And sometimes I succeed and, and, and sometimes I don't. But what I'm here to tell you is that if you have any misgivings about the security of a Velo Orange Mojave cage, uh, pshaw. I hope something good happens to you today.